Thank you for joining us on Channels Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. In today's episode, we'll be showing you clips from a chat I had with Nobel Prize winner, Professor Wally Shoenka, when he joined the campaign to free Ashraf Fayyad, a condemned Palestinian poet, artist, and writer. But first, let's explore fiction based on the reality of Nigeria's Niger Delta. Jacqueline Agwe, a fellow of the Chartered Insurance Institute of Nigeria and the author of the book titled The Color of My Tears, released this exciting novel titled A Pelican of the Wilderness in 2014. Our first segment is a book review session I had with Princess Irede Abumere, a multimedia journalist and one of our reviewers on this show, where we focused on Jacqueline's intriguing novel. Enjoy it. A pelican of the wilderness, that's what we're looking at uh, today. Let's start with a general overview. What do you think about the book? Um, a Pelican of the Wilderness is actually Jacqueline Agwe's third book. Her first book, The Color of My Tears, was published in 2010. And the book was nominated by the Nigerian Authors Association for the NDDC Flora Wangpa Prize for Women's Writing. Her second book, um, A Place for Every Girl but it's completely different from this book, of course. So this book, A Pelican of the Wilderness, has 31 chapters and 270 pages. It was published by Kachifo's imprint, Prestige, in 2014. You know there's that saying, um, never judge a book by its cover. This is one of those books they were talking about. So the book just has the title in front of it and the silhouette of a man. So you don't, you're like, hmm, A Pelican of the Wilderness. Mm -hmm. Even the title doesn't give away much until you go into the book. It's one of those books that it forces you to see, it forces you to smell, and it forces you to feel what like a certain plight of people, the plight of a certain group of people. Um, and, and of course, it's set in the Niger Delta. Yes, it is. Um, tell me about that. Did it create in your mind um, a picture of what's going on in the Niger Delta? Okay, this, this book by Jacqueline Agwe is the first book I've ever read with regards to the Niger Delta. And it, it's, it's fiction, but it's based on facts. But it, it, opened your, it opens your mind completely. So in the news story, you just hear, oh, the people are rioting, or they're rioting, or there's a rally, or there's protest, or there's something going on. But you don't go, the investigators don't go deep in to find out about the emotions of the people, what led to this, what happened, why are they this way. But this book gives you a whole insight into that. And Jacqueline came from a very interesting angle because, you know, people always say it's the people of the lower class who are more active, who are more saying they want to be involved in changing the society. But Jacqueline actually shows that this guy who's from the upper class Remember, his father is a judge and influential in the community. He's gone to school abroad, and then he works in a, for a company. He's earning an amazing salary, but he decides to join this brotherhood. Um, what they were doing is that they were actually trying to save the environment. That was what their own brotherhood was doing. They were actually trying to save the environment. So it, it does give an insight into what people have gone through to save their communities. Like she talks about the riots where people thought they were coming to meet someone who could change things for them and their environment, but it was a setup. And you found that people were actually being killed and being beaten up and whatnot. It, it, it evokes emotion. Prior to her book, I didn't know that much. I only knew what the news was telling me about the vandals, about the riots, about that. I didn't know that my people were suffering. I didn't know that people were losing their livelihoods like to that extent where that there was actually nothing for them. And, you know, we would say that thing of leave the community. But after reading her book and then you explore, where are they going to go? Some of these people have been there for 10 generations, 20 generations. Where do you go? So it just, it, the book does show you that as a whole, Nigeria benefited from the oil. But as a region, the Niger Delta suffered for that. I think, I mean, f I mean for me, um, it's, it's one thing to read 
newspapers. Yes, it is. And listen to the news. Mm -hmm. you know? It's another thing to uh, read a story that paints the picture. I lived in the Niger Delta briefly. Okay. You know? So for me, it was just perfect the way she described it. I've know, never been the there, so this book took me I there. I mean, it was just perfect. You know, the oil spillage situation. Mm -hmm the um, standard of living for a lot of people yes. who are living in the Niger Delta, the tension mm -hmm. between the people there and the big oil companies. And know, even the authorities. And even the authorities uh, and so on. So I, I think, it, it, for me, it did a good job of painting that picture mm -hmm. for... But, you know, I'm still going to take you back to my question um, yeah. because I'm very fascinated with the idea of Nigerian authors telling the stories of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, if you write a book set in Abelkota, I want to breathe the air of Abelkota. I want to see the roads of Abelkota, you know. I want to see the houses of Abelkota. Were you in the Niger Delta when you were in this? I was. I was even at Tom Pred's initiation. <laughs> I was there. I walked in the swamp with him. That's what I was saying, that she, she made you feel it. I had good, good pimples just reading as they walked through the swamp, the smell, oh. <laughs> but she does take you there, and especially with the water, describing the water, the way of life of the people, the fishing and whatnot. Mm, okay. Um, what do you know about Jacqueline? Um, did this book fit into who, no. she, who, who she is as an author? No. People can surprise you, and she definitely surprised me because she's someone who works in the field of insurance. She's a fellow of the Nigerian Insurance Institute Association. That's what she is. So it's surprising that she'd write this sort of but book. But with that kind of background. Yes. <laughs>